Planned Parenthood is publicly commemorating Black History Month while turning a blind eye to what the organization's very founder remarked about race. That's this week's Speak Out segment. In a series of recent tweets, Planned Parenthood President Dr. Lena Wen praised black employees and supporters of Planned Parenthood, including one of her predecessors, the organization's former president, Faye Waddleton. But Wen's posts overlooked Planned Parenthood founder Margaret Sanger's writings on race. In her autobiography, Sanger wrote that she spoke at a 1926 Ku Klux Klan rally. She characterized her lecture there as a success, writing, quote, I believed I had accomplished my purpose and that, quote, a dozen invitations to speak to similar groups were proffered. In a 1939 letter to Dr. Clarence Gamble, Singer wrote that to expand her efforts, colored ministers should be hired to help them make their case. Here are her words. Listen to this. The most successful educational approach to the Negro is through a religious appeal. We don't want the word to go out that we want to exterminate the Negro population. And the minister is the man who can straighten out that idea if it ever occurs to any of their more rebellious members. This disdain for African Americans is not just a stain in the organization's past. It is ongoing in their work today. Black babies are aborted at a disproportionate rate in the U.S. population. According to the Centers for Disease Control, abortion rates in 2008 for non-Hispanic black and Hispanic teenagers were two to three times higher than the rates for non-Hispanic white teenagers. The fact Planned Parenthood claims to celebrate Black History Month while not acknowledging these facts speaks to its hypocrisy and lies. Do not trust Planned Parenthood and do not fall for their propaganda, not during Black History Month or for any month for that matter.